What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Nerd Council Explains. The series that takes a look at concepts from comic books, TV shows, movies and more that can be hard to grasp so we break them down in such a way that makes them simple to digest. On this episode we're going to be taking a look at the Arc Reactor, the piece of tech famously lodged into the chest of everyone's favourite genius, billionaire, playboy and philanthropist Tony Stark aka Iron Man. Cue the fireworks. Just to note, I'm going to be discussing the arc reactor within the MCU, that is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the comic books. There are slight differences between the two, but nothing that should prove too confusing. So let's get into it. We all know that Tony has a big glowy chest piece thingy in the middle of his chest, but what exactly is it and how does it work? The Arc Reactor, which actually stands for Affordable Robust Compact Reactor, is a fusion energy type power source fueled by palladium core, palladium being an isotopic element found on the periodic table. The Arc Reactor works by producing electricity directly rather than first generating heat. It is in short a cold fusion reactor as it doesn't produce massive amounts of heat as it produces energy. I won't get too much into the theoretical physics behind it, or else we'll have to call this video The Nerd Council Explains Nuclear Fission, but I hope you're following so far. In the comic books, the Arc Reactor is actually known as the Repulsor Tech Node, and functions exactly the same way as the Arc Reactor seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fun fact, the Arc Reactor didn't actually exist as a concept in the Marvel comics until the first Iron Man movie back in 2008. So the question then beckons, why does Tony have the Arc Reactor embedded in his chest? Aside from it being a great topic at parties, the Arc Reactor acts as a power source for the electromagnet keeping Tony alive. Let me explain. When Tony was captured and injured in the original Iron Man comics, he built a chest plate with an electromagnet attached to stop the pieces of shrapnel moving near his heart. This chest plate was powered by general electricity, but when the MCU was birthed and the Arc Reactor introduced, Marvel retconned this origin slightly to include the Repulsor Technode as the power source. You still with me? The design for the Repulsor Technode was a product of Tony's own imagination and work, but in the MCU movies it was his father, Howard Stark, who initially theorised the arc reactor, but Tony being the genius that he is, brought his father's vision to life, later on creating the infamous miniature one to power his suits. Howard's initial design called for palladium core to power the reactor, but this caused Tony to endure palladium poisoning because of it, which was shown in Iron Man 2. Eventually, Tony came across more of his father's theoretical work and discovered that Howard envisioned the arc reactor to be powered by a brand new element, one not found on the periodic table. So Tony went out and created one because what else could he do? Now, technically it's not impossible to create a new element. Plutonium was famously created by scientists back in 1940 but this isn't the Nerd Council Explains A-Level Chemistry. He took this new element and used it to power all future models of the Arc Reactor. The element was not given a name and not much is known about it, but in the Iron Man 2 novelization, it is stated that Tony had actually created Vibranium, a substance that had long existed in the African country of Wakanda. Was Howard's theory work a result of his dealings with Vibranium to create Captain America's shield? Vibranium may just have to be a topic we cover on our channel in future. Okay, 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 enough of the science lesson. Let's talk about what the arc reactor can do. All of Tony's suits are powered by the reactor in his chest, with each suit's ability only limited by Tony's imagination. It provides sufficient energy enough for him to fly at top speeds, shoot repulsor blasts, fire flares, control his AI system Jarvis, and so, so, so much more. Tony also built an arc reactor to power Stark Tower, which later became Avengers Tower, providing clean energy for the building. The reactor is also impervious to EMP blasts, so it's near impervious to everything aside from direct physical damage. He also ended up creating an arc reactor for his wife, Pepper Potts. Yes, in the comics, Pepper was also in a similar accident to Tony, where she needed the arc reactor implanted into her chest, which eventually led to Tony creating her own suit of armor, leading Pepper to becoming Rescue. 
And that is it for this episode. Hopefully your understanding of the arc reactor has improved enough for you to go out and show off your knowledge to your friends. Now, for comic book recommendations, Invincible Iron Man, Superior Iron Man, and Iron Man 2013 are great reads if you want to read up more about the amazing suits Tony makes that are powered by the arc reactor. And also, check out the Invincible Iron Man issue 10 for the first appearance of Pepper Potts as Rescue. Drop a comment below for what you want our next video to be on. There are no wrong answers. And remember to share this video and hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time guys, this has been The Nerd Council Explains.